What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lopes, and here with <laughs> I'm here, 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 here. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lopes, and I'm here with Alex. And today we're basically painting his side skirts and his rear lips. We're actually going to match it with the color of the car, and Alex is going to give you a little insight into what exactly we're doing. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking off my side skirts. They're the fiberglass and whatnot. So you're going to take them out, scruff them up, and then I got the the primer and the dupli color actual paint color of the car and uh, clear coat and then uh, it should turn out very good so we'll see how it goes yeah so this is our first time attempting this it's going to be uh, a DIY so this can be like the real first DIY step-by-step -step that we're giving you and uh, let's see let's you guys are coming along that's basically it you're coming along and how's the camera looking so So, your second step now is basically, you see all this dirt? See all that dirt? You gotta wipe that off with a, a wet rag. So you're wiping it off. Make sure it's really, really clean. All right, so clean her up, very, very good. And what you're gonna do afterwards is you're gonna get a dry rag and dry it. And you have to dry it very, very well or else the paint will not stick on properly. So a little scruff, don't go too crazy. So this is exactly what we're using. So primer, Subaru OEM paint, and clear coat. So we're starting with the primer first. You, you guys, make sure you shake these cans up for a good like. One minute. Yeah, a good minute straight. Shake them up. 10 minutes between each coat of primer. So we've sanded, we've wiped them down. Make sure you can do the running man a little bit. I know you wanna. guys so we're gonna do two coats of primer as you see it's looking good already even no runs once again don't cake it on don't go up close make sure you shake the can well or else it's gonna spit out bullshit straight up we're gonna put the timer on for 10 minutes if you have a phone just do it on the phone set it for 10 minutes and then let it beep have a beer have a drink eat some pizza and you know, wait 10 minutes, that's it. So I always highly recommend investing in a fan. And I'm not talking about subscriber fans, YouTube fans. In one of these, in one of these bad boys, this thing's been in the family for centuries. This is what I'm talking about. So we're blowing out all the fumes outside so we don't have to die. You can be lacking pain if you like. Great. We've got our first coat on the splats, as you can see, and the second coat on the side skirts are done. And are we doing one more coat, Alex? Mm, no, not so, the primer. So the primer on the side skirts are done. We've got one more coat to do on the splats, and these came out awesome. As you can see, I'm gonna get nice and close. You're gonna see, like, there's absolutely no runs or anything. Like, perfect, perfect. See what I mean, guys? Take your time. Even if you have to do 10 coats, take your time. All right, guys, I know it's a little dark now, but it's downpouring like crazy out there. So the the primer's finally dried 100%. So now we're giving it a light sand. 800 grit. 800 grit. And then just a nice little sand. Don't go too crazy with it. Just be smooth and gentle. And we are basically just gonna sand it down. And after this, we're gonna apply the paint. Once again, sorry, it's a little dark now, but it is raining and we do not wanna get the side skirts or anything wet. So, so realistically, yeah. after the primer is dry, you just go over a light sanding of 800 grit. I use wet sandpaper, but whatever is better. And then just slightly scruff it all so it's all smooth, wipe it all down, and then do your two light coats of uh, black.
All right, so we're pretty much finished the second coat. Alex just touching up a couple things. Um, then we're going to let it dry for half an hour. And after the half hour, we are going to do the clear coat. It's coming out pretty good. Can't complain, there's no runs or nothing. Like I said, take your time, do it. Do it once, do it right. And hopefully this comes out great. Once again, it's the first time attempting this with the car paint and the can and all, but uh, so far it's looking really good. So before your last coat of clear, you can get a piece of light sandpaper. What grid is that? Uh, 800. So an 800 grid and lightly sand, basically the first and second clear coat just to take any imperfections away, any bumps. And then after, we're going to hit it up with the last piece. Well, I guess the last couple of coats, right? How many more coats are we going to do? One or two? One heavy. One heavy coat. So if you need that heavy coat, make sure you guys do not make it run. Plus you have to sand it and do it all over again. The finished product, they came out very, very nice. And the paint came out pretty good. It's a nice gloss finish to it, as we can see. Like I said, we only really focus on this half here because this is the half that we can see and the other half we don't. Once you put everything back, it's a final step that wasn't recorded, but uh, once you put all the side skirts back on, whatever, or whatever you're painting, uh, you gotta wet sand it, 2000 grit. Make sure it's wet as you're going, like lightly go over it. And then you gotta get a buffer with polishing compound and everything. Just hit it up with a buffer and everything so you can get the nice shine and everything. Cause after you paint it everything, you might have a bit of like, it looks like orange peel. Like basically along the, everything you paint. So you gotta really wet sand it all down nice and fine. And then uh, you hit it up with a buffer, compound and everything, clean it up and then you get the nice shine look like that. And Beautiful. Turns out mint. This thing came out awesome. Like we have like zero complaints on it. Like it, I think it came out better than we thought. To be honest with you, if this didn't come out good, I would definitely have got it like painted again. Yeah. But because it actually turned out very, very well, and I actually really surprised with it, and it looks the paint matches basically it's almost on point. Yeah, it's almost. But it looks almost identical. But and one thing you guys got to take in consideration too is we're painting plastic compared to metal, so you're not going to get the exact exact same this color is fiberglass versus actual plastic so it's, it's all yeah it's, and it's fiberglass against metal doors right so the, it doesn't take the same but they look so close it's all, like you can't even tell yeah. remember guys this is all rattle can so how you guys gotta really take that in this is rattle can and like you guys you guys can see in the clips that like it's like you can't tell the difference it's beautiful the wet sand and uh, the actual buffer and hit it up with the compound and everything is what made the made the, really made the difference huh? yeah that made the biggest difference on everything? Yeah, so. So make sure you guys, and how, how long do they have to wait until after they're done, like drying, give it a day at least? Two days before yeah. you actually hit it up with wet sanding and buffing. So two days, days, let it cure on and yeah. do it up. Yeah. Guys, let me know if anyone does this tag. I highly recommend instead but, of paying. It, but that's the thing, Canadian Tire sells the actual rattle cans, like Duplicolor, that's actually paint matched for your car, specific cars and uh, color codes and all that stuff. So if you're gonna do this, make sure you get that ones that are actually like the same color for the car. Yeah. Not just, this is not just black, this is actually paint for the car. Yeah. So make sure, like if any of you guys do this, tag us below. We wanna see how your pro the projects came along. Uh, we're very impressed with it. It looks so much better. I really wish you guys like good luck. You guys need it because it is, it, you know, it takes a couple hours, but it's well worth instead of paying 300 bucks to get your side skirts done. And let's say the rear lips, 400 bucks to get everything done. We paid $60 in a couple hours. Yeah, right? right got just, you gotta just take your time, let everything dry properly and everything. and then Hit it up. Remember guys, you gotta do some of your own work sometimes too. You know, you guys may fail. If, if it doesn't work out, 
try again. If it doesn't work out and it's not something that you guys can do, then you get a trained professional to do it. But we did it. Alex did an amazing job on it. Soon this guy's gonna paint my whole entire car. Harry Green. Hey, man, you never know. Hey, Alex is gonna become a painter before you know it. But all right, guys, peace.